to take your laptop apart, you're going to want to pop this rubber little flange and there will be a screw under there, removing your accessory panel. From there, you're going to have four screws here and you're going to carefully remove your hard drive. From there you have a screw there, 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 and there, 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 and there. And one right there. You need to remove all those and then you can carefully unclip the bottom panel of your computer. Once that is removed, you're going to see all the dirt that has built up in your computer. As of this point, it is a little over one year for me since I bought this. This is the first cleaning. You're going to want to take out a screw on your fan here and here, here and here. From there you're going to very carefully angle your fan out and pull it up. Make sure to pull this clip which comes out right here. I already took that one out, but this one has not been unclipped yet, so we're going to pull that out now. So you can see the little electrical connector right here. And by the way, make sure you are properly grounded. You do not want to add a static charge to your electronic components and fry out your computer. So once that clip is out, you can carefully slide your fan up, pull it out. You can see all that dirt that is inside of there. That one was really bad too. I actually already pulled some of the dirt out. You're going to find dirt down in all these fins. They need to be carefully blown out. We have another fan here. We'll get to that after we clean the first two fans. So we are outside now and we're going to clean out the first fan. We're going to do that by holding the fan still so it cannot spin. And then we're going to blow out the fins and the inside and get everything out that we can with the air duster. Also, don't tip your can over. It will spray liquid and it is ice cold. Okay, let's get the other one cleaned and back to the computer. Another thing to note is if you have a lot of buildup, the air duster in itself might not get it all out. And it might be good to take a small paintbrush or toothbrush and gently rub the dust out and then blow it out again. So once you get your fans done, you're going to want to get all the vents for the heat sinks that the fans blow through. Those are going to be filled with dust. We still have our third fan here, which we are going to remove. You're going to want to clean in there. You can see some dust build up also. You're also going to want to clean all your USB ports. The back of your fans. And check around the areas of the motherboard. Just any little bits of dust you can get out. But most of it's all going to be located in these general areas. So now we are going to start just by picking off any big chunks of dust that we can. Just so they don't get blown around further. Remember you should keep properly grounded during this entire process. Static shock is the enemy of your computer. I am not right now, but... I have a fairly good sense of what I'm doing. They do sell 
straps that go around your wrist and then hook up to a metal piece on the computer that will keep you fully grounded so you do not have to worry about shocking your computer. They are very useful. I recommend getting one if you do not have it. They don't cost that much money. And I literally just ran out of air just from cleaning out my fans. And I also cleaned out all the USB ports. So I need some more air to finish this off. But since I don't have it, I'm just going to do it by hand. So you're just going to gently brush out these fins. Be careful not to bend them. And as of this point, she is pretty well cleaned. You can go further to take out the entire motherboard and clean underneath between these gaps, which air does flow through. But that is a lot more screws. You're more likely to short something out or damage something. As of this point, this is a pretty thorough cleaning and you can be satisfied here. If you wanna take it the extra step, you're gonna to have to start by taking out all your screws for your battery and after your battery you're going to want to remove your removable speakers that are replaceable very nice feature you got two of them I believe they're 8 watt speakers and then you're going to have little clips for opening and closing your lid which hold down the motherboard so you don't want to open your laptop after you take those off and you're going to have several other little screws here and there scattered about some of them are going to need to come out, some of them won't. Um, if you're going to take off a heat sink directly attached to one of your chips, there is a heat transfer paste that goes between them. You are not supposed to reuse that. Most videos do not warn you about that. You need to scrape the old stuff off, clean it, and then apply new heat transfer paste on there and reassemble it for the best heat dissipation on your computer. Do not forget that step, guys. Okay, as of this point, it is 100% clean. So, it is completely up to you on how much time you want to take cleaning out every last fin. But if you look in there, you can see those fins are very clean. Those are your main exhaust ports. You do not want those clogged up. So reassembly is pretty straightforward. You're just going to follow the exact steps that you took to take it apart in reverse order. So we're going to start with the small fan. Also be sure not to over tighten your screws. These were all held in with some sort of blue Loctite but at the same time you don't really need to reapply it. Just give it a little bit extra snug turn down but do not strip them out. This flap slides underneath the heat sink here. You just kind of gently wedge it back into place. Actually, that's the wrong fan. <laughs> Should easily set back into place. And clip in. So now that everything is back in place and done, we're going to put back on the back half of the computer. We'll just set it on top. 
make sure everything is fitting in nicely as you can see I left all the original screws in so that way they wouldn't be out of order and we're going to start from the back and slowly snap in all the clips By the way, one thing I did forget is there is a little vent right here for the speaker. Definitely want to clean that out. I can still do that from the outside. It's not really bad. And there's one over here too. So I'm just going to take the toothbrush to that. There we go. And you also got your back vents on the panel too, which are good to get cleaned out if you didn't do it beforehand. Then get all your screws in. From here we can take our hard drive and plug it back in, screw it back up. Put on the back panel and you are done. Okay, screen is cleaned, keyboard is done. First startup since cleaning. Sounds a lot quieter. Fans are happier. Keys are illuminating a little bit better because there's no dirt in there. Hope you enjoyed the video. So when you do clean your monitor, you want to use a nice soft microfiber towel or a glasses cleaning rag. Honestly, that would probably be my number one choice. And make sure you get your keyboard. There's gonna be bacteria there from using your computer every single day, maybe food in between the keys. Take that air duster and dust that out really good. And also, once again, do not let that dust get back in the ports. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this video and found it helpful. Have a great day.